What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam. This is Duncan and today we are doing a kind of last minute small business gift guide. Um, I have a bunch of stuff here that I want to show you guys and just a few people that I picked out. Um, there's so many. I could do 10 more of these and I probably will. So I'm just going to get started with the stuff that I could easily find around that I thought was great that I could show you guys. So let's Let's get into it. So the first place that I want to talk about is the place that made this fabulous shirt right here as well as this fabulous shirt right here. It says this is my plant shopping shirt. They also host the Heart Shape Leaves merch shop. This one says don't tell me what to do with that fabulous Monstera leaf. This is the first shirt I actually that they sent. They sent this to me and I did like a little um, spot in a video last year around this time um, just having fun with the uh, upgraded FTC guidelines <laughs> perhaps you guys remember but this one says all I want for Christmas is more plants and I love that shirt as well they also uh, made this Monstera sticker that's on the back of my laptop they've always been awesome supporters of plant tube and I'm so happy to just support them back because they're a great company they ship fast their stuff is beautiful it's well made it's lasted for a year i have um i've had vinyl printed shirts i believe that's what this is um before that just got beat up and i gotta tell you i'm a little bit lazy about hanging things to dry sometimes um so these shirts have stood the test of time so far um so i'm really happy with them so definitely check them out all the businesses that i talk about um will be linked below and none of this is sponsored, uh, just a list of companies that I wanted to make you aware of around the holiday season and beyond. Next up, I wanna talk about someone I'm a huge fangirl of. Um, just think this person is a marvelous human being. Ooh, I don't have my pin. I'll have to put the pin on the screen because I have a kitty sitting on my lap right now. Uh, but, I wanted to talk just quickly because I've already talked about this journal, but this is the Grow a Damn journal from Tyler Thrasher. Once again, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful way to take care of your plants by experimentation and taking notes like a proper scientist. Um, these, they're embossed and they have like this gold leafing, super beautiful. I bought two of these. I have one for my indoor plants and one for my outdoor plants because I couldn't decide how to put them both in one book. Um, so I actually got some for Christmas presents as well. And Tyler also works with the Stem Cell Science Shop and they have this really cool little adventurer kit. I don't think this will be something you'd be able to get in time for Christmas right now because of supply issues due to the whole COVID thing. I should get the one that I ordered for um, Mike's daughter in time for Christmas, but I don't think new orders would work, but I still recommend getting one. They are $60, but they go to an amazing cause. You actually sort of pay to help them donate these kits to other students. And I'll just, I'll leave all the links below so you can check it out. I just thought it was a great cause as well as a really cool thing to give a naturist, uh, you know, curious child for Christmas. And Tyler's also got beautiful art and these crystallized insects and just all kinds of stuff on his shop. Things sell out sometimes pretty quickly, but if you subscribe to his social media, it's pretty easy to get things when he does drop the items. Um, he also does the give a damn shirt that I wear all the time. Do I have it? Oh, it might be dirt. Uh, I don't have my Tyler shirt because I wear it literally all the time. So it is in the laundry but highly recommend uh, checking him out, following him. I'm actually a patron of him as well. I just firmly believe in throwing your money at creators and artists that you believe in. Um, so that is kind of the purpose of this. So let's move on. Next up, something I don't actually tangibly have in front of me yet because it doesn't exist yet, but I thought this was kind of a unique gift idea. If you know somebody who is into the On The Ledge podcast with Jane Perrone, uh, she is right now crowdfunding her book the dream book, the one she's always wanted to write about houseplants. It's going to be a book that profiles a whole bunch of plants that so many of us have just on a real thorough level. You know how Jane rules and I'm just, I'm very excited to see this come to fruition. And as somebody who wants to eventually write something herself, I 
really always wanted to go the route of crowdfunding or finding other ways to make something like that happen that doesn't involve the gatekeepers of like the publishing industry. I just feel like we must miss out on so much because basically everything we're able to purchase at a bookstore has had to be filtered through, you know, these, these, these gatekeepers. So I thought it'd be really cool to gift, especially if you are watching this video, maybe your person is really into plants. You can um, support Jane Perrone's book and sort of give that as the gift and the person will receive a copy of the book. There's all different tiers. You can get one that's signed. You can get your name in the back of the book. Super cool. So I thought that was a really interesting way to give a gift and also do some good and also support the arts and also give somebody a really cool houseplant based gift. And one more of our uh, houseplant celebrities that I just kind of want to uh, shout out for the stuff that they offer is our our darling uh, Summer Rain Oaks. I really enjoyed her book. I just thought it was a really unique way to write a book about houseplants. It's not so much a, a how-to guide as it is um, really just like a mindset kind of book. And I've actually read it, um, I'm on my second read through it now, and I got the audiobook as well um, because that was really enjoyable to listen to. So if you were on the fence about this, I do think it is a really good book. There's also um, a small little contribution from yours truly in there. I'll let you find it. And she will never see this, so I'm not kissing her ass. Um, I am really enjoying the course, and if I got that as a gift, I would be so stoked. And then of course you know that I'm always gonna be an advocate of supporting your favorite YouTubers. If you wanna get some kind of merch or something, um, I would get your orders in ASAP because you know a lot of us print through third party things that might take a little while. Um, but some, some offerings I have over here. Um, I do love my not dude hat. I also have one of his, actually a couple of his stickers and he also has enamel pins that are really nice that I have. Um, I don't have one right here, I'll, I'll put in a clip. Um, but the hats are beautiful and he also makes the dad hat style. There's a million different colors. The colors are so unique. And even if somebody doesn't watch like the Not Dude channel, it just says plant nerd on the side and then the logo is very cute. So even if you, um, we're giving this to somebody who doesn't watch YouTube but does like plants. I think they'd be really into this. And um, you know, Miss Kaylee Ellen has beautiful tote bags that we've already touched on. We talked about the heart-shaped leaves um, through Mellow Monkey merchandise. We have this here, which is a super cute little summer tank that I love from My Clean Leaves. And I know she makes all kinds of cool stuff as well. I also have a mug from Pammy's Planty Things. I have like all kinds of stuff from YouTubers. So I highly recommend if you have a favorite plant tuber or if the person you're shopping for has a favorite plant tuber, just go on their channel. And if you look around, they're gonna have a link to their merch site. Um, I also have a lot of stuff from Becca De La Plants. Her soil mix, I've already told you guys, is fire. So if you wanted to, I mean, it sounds weird to think of getting a bag of potting mix for somebody for Christmas, but um, honestly, I would be really stoked. So if you're shopping for a planty folk, uh, think about getting some of her De La Tanks um, soil mix. I think that would be an awesome gift. This, this artist right here, I got this print from Veronica Steiner Art and I will put her info down below. This is called The Carnivore. I loved this print the second I laid eyes on it on Instagram. I followed her, I went to her shop, um, and I bought this print immediately. It's really affordable, it shipped super fast, it is absolutely gorgeous, and I think that she has some artwork that a lot of people would like. All kinds of um, animal, just nature-based artwork. Absolutely gorgeous. This is another uh, art print that I got off of Etsy this year. And I, I cannot, uh, this was up as like a nursery print, but I just thought it was so uh, kind of creepy and really cool and a little bit planty. So if you are looking for a very unique gift for somebody who is planty, I definitely recommend going around Etsy and just looking around at some of the art offerings because a lot of people are able to make their prints fairly inexpensively, which means like you can afford to get beautiful artwork that is a little bit more than maybe something you'd pick up at Target. 
Uh, another fun guy to support um, if you're into t-shirts is the Crime Pays But Botany Doesn't. He has all kinds of really fun um, t-shirts and stickers and all kinds of stuff. I'm not sure what he's offering right now or if you can get things by Christmas, but I had to, I had to stick him in here really quick because he draws really cool uh, stuff. But uh, his, his Kill Your Lawn t-shirt is one of my favorite uh, t-shirts, even though I'm sure that this hurts my father's heart with his um, perfect lawn. As you can tell, I'm kind of a fan of planty clothing, so I ended up with a lot of it. <laughs> People also often ask me where I got my Talk to Plants Not Cops t-shirt, and I got that from Street Leaves PDX on Etsy. They make amazing uh, anti-fascist and plant-related art and stickers and patches, coloring books, t-shirts, things like that. Highly recommended, um, so I'll put that information down below as well. And then I figured I would close this out by just um, giving you guys some info about um, a book I get asked about a lot and my favorite plant-related book. Just if you wanna, you know, Amazon a quick gift for somebody or whatever, um, actually go to eBay. Sometimes you can um, support small bookshops by shopping for books on eBay and you get them very, very cheap. Just in case you forgot eBay is a thing because I did for a while. So the first one, this is the book that I was using as a reference and I showed you guys a little bit on camera when I did my philodendron video, the philodendron deep dive. This book um, was recommended to me basically by listening to the On The Ledge podcast that I mentioned earlier. This is one of Jane's favorite books and um, I've got to say I agree with her. It is a wonderful all-purpose houseplant book and it's called The Houseplant Expert by Dr. D. G. Hessian. It's H-E-S-S-A-Y-O-N. And this book is just full of information and it's not the kind of book where you're gonna get, you know, um, a, a deep dive level 10 pages on every single species, but you will get basically the gist of everything you need to know. Troubleshooting, um, some different types, some help um, with identification. And unlike a lot of other older books, I find that this one has actually stood the test of time where the information is not super outdated. I mean, we all know that we see these books that will tell you to keep plants like a damp and, and most of the time that's not a good idea. And then this is my absolute fit. This book just blew my freaking mind. So I recommend it to everybody all the time and it would make definitely make a great um, gift. This is called The Revolutionary Genius of Plants and it is by Stefano Mancuso. And this is a book about plant behavior and communication and the things that you might not think that they're able to do uh, and it's really, really fascinating. Anyway, so this one is really science-based. There is no speculation in here. There are no um, rumors. This is just science, but it is written in such a easy to read, um, very accessible and funny sometimes kind of way. Um, and I just really, really love this book. So if you're looking for some house planty books, um, definitely recommend these to you this holiday season and beyond. And I figure if I'm going to do a houseplant gift guide, I'm gonna shout out at least one small houseplant shop. And uh, today I'm gonna pick Houseplant Heather's Etsy shop. Um, I love Heather, she's such a sweetheart. She's gifted a ton of plants to people throughout the community. Um, she carries really interesting varieties and her packing is unfuckwithable. I mean, your plants are gonna get there fine, and she's also the kind of seller that if they don't, she's gonna make that right for you. Her reviews speak for themselves. Just go look at her Etsy shop. You don't have to take my word for it. Um, her reviews are just glowing. And there's a reason for that. It's because Heather's badass. So if you wanted to get some plants, for someone this holiday season, um, I would definitely feel very confident recommending Houseplant Heather to you. If you have a favorite small business that is planty related, I am giving you full permission down below. If it's you, if it's your friend, 
blow it up in the comments, leave your links and information. If you leave actual links, it may get flagged in the spam folder. So just leave your business name and what platform you're on and everybody can find you that way. Hopefully that way you don't get caught up in the spam filter. But if I do see any, I will approve them. I will be going through the comments and checking out the businesses that you recommend and perhaps grabbing some things that catch my eye and opening them on my channel in the future. So you may be helping your favorite small business get a few more eyes on it. So let's have uh, some fun with that down in the comments. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, guys. Happy shopping. And remember that, uh, you know, you don't have to buy people shit to let them know that you love them. But, you know, if you wanted to, maybe get them something cool. Just get them something cool from like a kind of small business. Or just help somebody out that's botanical. Just, you know, just a tip. Just a... I will see you in the next one. Bye.